Thank you, Yang Gang. I love campaigning in Iowa because this is one of the only places in the entire country where democracy still works as it is intended. You know this, but I don't know if you realize just how much power is in this room tonight. I did the math, Iowa. Do you know how many Californians each of you is worth? 1,000 Californians each. When I look around this arena tonight, I do not just see 14,000 Iowans. I see 14 million Californians. That is the power in this room, the power to change the course of history. That's why it is a thrill to be back here and a privilege to address you all. Now, I'm a presidential candidate, yes, but I'm also a parent and a dad. How many of you all are parents? Yeah, my wife Evelyn is here with us tonight. We have two young boys, Christopher and Damien. And I'm running for president because of a thought that the parents here in this room have had, but we have been afraid to express. And it is this, our kids are not all right. They are not all right because we have left them a future far darker than the lives that we have led as their parents. Now many of you think of me as a business guy, but for the last seven years I've been a nonprofit guy. I started a nonprofit called Venture for America that helped create thousands of jobs in cities like Detroit, Cleveland, St. Louis, Baltimore, and you know what I saw during these seven years? I saw millions of young people who were not starting families, let alone businesses, because they couldn't pay their bills. I saw millions of young people who were buried under a mountain of debt and trapped in their parents' basements. I saw record high levels of anxiety, stress, depression, mental illness, even suicides and drug overdoses to the point that our country's life expectancy has declined for three years in a row. First time in a hundred years that has happened, Iowa. If you turned on cable news today, why would you think that Donald Trump is our president? Go ahead and shout something out. Someone who's not the Yang guy. Russia, racism, Facebook, Hillary Clinton, emails, all mixed together. But I believe many of you know different. I'm a numbers guy, and the reason why Donald Trump is our president, the reason why he won your state, by eight points is that we blasted away 40,000 manufacturing jobs right here in Iowa and you saw all of those towns go from blue to red as it happened. And that did not just happen here in Iowa, we did it in Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Missouri, all of the swing states that Donald Trump needed to win. We blasted away four million manufacturing jobs and unfortunately we are not stopping there, Iowa. How many of you have seen stores close where you work and live here in the state? Raise your hands. And why are those stores closing? It's a one word answer. Amazon, that's right. Amazon soaking up $20 billion in business every year, causing 30% of your stores and malls to close. How much did Amazon pay in federal taxes last year? That is your math, Iowa, 20 billion out, zero back. 30% of your stores and malls close. The most common job in your state is retail clerk. 39-year-old woman making between nine and $10 an hour. When her store closes, what is her next move going to be? I am a numbers guy, but you don't need the numbers. You just look around your communities. You see it when you walk into the CVS and the grocery store and you see the self-serve kiosk. You see your neighbor's kids addicted to drugs. You see the headlines where Google and Uber are working on trucks that can drive themselves. These are the real problems that got Donald Trump elected, the fact that more and more of us are feeling left behind. Experts are calling this economic transformation, this period, the fourth industrial revolution. When is the last time you heard a politician even breathe the words fourth industrial revolution? Just now, right? And I am barely a politician. 
These are the problems that got Donald Trump elected, and this is what you must solve. This is how you must use your power. Now, I want you all to ask yourselves for a moment, how is a man you've never heard of eight months ago speaking after Joe Biden and before Elizabeth Warren? a man you never heard of before raised $10 million last quarter in increments of only $30 each. So my fans are almost as cheap as Bernie's. It is because I know what the true nature of the problems are and how we can solve them. And it is up to you to take these solutions to the rest of the country to present a new way forward as fast as possible. Now, what is this new way forward? What is the vision? If you've heard anything about me and my campaign, you've heard this. There's an Asian man running for president who wants to give everyone $1,000 a month. And the first time you heard that, it sounded like a gimmick, too good to be true, but this is not my idea and it's not a new idea. Thomas Paine was for it at our founding. Martin Luther King fought for it in the 60s. A thousand economists endorsed it. Congress, the U.S. House of Representatives passed it twice in 1971, and 11 years later, one state passed a dividend where now everyone in that state gets between one and $2,000 a year, no questions asked. And what state is that? Alaska! And how does Alaska pay for it? Oil. And what is the oil of the 21st century, Iowa? Technology, software, self-driving cars and trucks. Our data is now worth more than oil. Raise your hand if you got your data check in the mail. Where did the data checks go? They went to Facebook, Amazon, Google, and the trillion dollar tech companies that are paying zero or near zero in taxes. Now think about what does what a thousand dollars a month would actually mean in your hands, in the hands of your friends and neighbors. It would mean lower stress levels. It would mean fewer arguments with your spouse. It would mean being able to retire with dignity. It would mean not having to choose between car repairs and new clothes for your kids. It's not about the money, it is about what it means to us. And I've been giving $1,000 a month to families around the country for a number of months now. I, I recommend it. And one of them is here tonight, Kyle Christensen, who lives in Iowa Falls. Thank you, Kyle. Look at that. I thought you were up there, Kyle. I'm glad you're at the fancy table. So Kyle lives in Iowa Falls with his mom who's recovering from cancer. And when I saw Kyle on my last trip, he said that after he'd taken care of some bills, he bought a guitar and was playing shows for the first time in years. For Kyle, it was a guitar. For Jody in New Hampshire, it was car repairs to visit her daughter. For Mallory in Florida, it was going back to school at the age of 68. This is what the Freedom Dividend would mean for us in real life. And this is the vision that you can make a reality like this, Iowa, because this is, this is the, your power and your power alone. Now, my first move, my first move was not to run for president of the United States because I am not insane. I worked in the Obama administration, I went to Washington, D.C., and I said, what are we going to do to help our fellow citizens understand that it is not immigrants that are causing these problems, it is technology and an economy that is pushing more and more of us to the side. And the folks in Washington, D.C. had very little to offer, but one of them gave me some guidance that led me here to you all tonight. He said, Andrew, you're in the wrong town. No one in Washington, D.C. will touch this because fundamentally this is not a town of leaders, this is a town of followers. And the only way we will do anything is if you were to create a wave in the rest of the country and bring that wave crashing down on our heads. And that is why I am with you tonight, Iowa. I am with you tonight because you must be that wave. I am not running for president because I fantasized about being president. I am running for president because, like so many of you in this room, I'm a parent and I'm a patriot. I have seen the future that lies ahead for our children, and it is not something I am willing to accept. Here in Iowa, you actually know what the future holds. If you look up, you saw it happen to your farms and then your factories. Now it's on your main streets. Soon it will hit your highways. It is up to you and you alone to turn the tide. You must be the wave 
that helps us rewrite the rules of the 21st century economy to work for us, to work for you, the people of this country. You must be the wave that helps give the entire nation a new way forward and gives me and millions of parents around the country the ability to look our children in the eyes and say with truth in our hearts, your country loves you, your country values you, and you are going to be all right. Thank you very much, Iowa. Let's make history. Let's move the country forward together in 2020 and win this whole thing. I love Iowa. I love it here.